Let us now discuss what are bases. Bases have a bitter taste, are slippery or soapy to touch. Some common uses of bases are sodium hydroxide NaOH, it is used in the manufacturing of soaps, potassium hydroxide KOH is used in the manufacturing of soaps and salts, ammonium hydroxide NH4OH is used to remove grease stains from clothes, aluminium hydroxide ALOH whole thrice is used as a foaming agent in fire extinguishers, magnesium hydroxide MgOH whole twice acts as an antacid which is used to um, neutralize the effect of acidity. Calcium hydroxide known as slake lime CaOH whole twice is used in the manufacturing of bleaching powder and calcium oxide which is known as quick lime CaO it is used as a drying agent. Let us now do the definition of bases. So what is a base? A base is either a metallic oxide or a metallic hydroxide or ammonium hydroxide which reacts with hydronium ion of an acid to form salt and water only. I hope you've understood we just discussed about acids. So acids are those which produce hydronium ion when they are dissolved in water, right? So that means acids have hydronium ion. So if a base which is actually an oxide of a metal or a hydroxide OH of a metal whenever it reacts with acid that means it is actually reacting with the hydronium ion of the acid it will produce salt and water only and please understand salt here does not mean the common salt sodium chloride which we consume daily salt here means any ionic compound containing a metal and some other radical but those metal ions will not be those of hydrogen and the non-metallic ion will not be a hydroxide ion so let us take examples of metallic oxides and hydroxides so these are few examples of metallic oxides and metallic hydroxide sodium oxide na2o potassium oxide k2o calcium oxide cao magnesium oxide mgo copper oxide cuo metallic hydroxide naoh koh calcium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide and copper hydroxide so now you have understood the examples of metallic oxides and hydroxides so let us write an equation in the equation form how will we how can we understand what is a base so copper oxide cuo when it is made to react with hcl which is an acid it is producing salt and water now you can see the salt is cucl2 and how is the cucl2 formed copper oxide cuo is basically combining with hcl so cu is combining with cl and forming cucl2 as per the formula and h hydrogen is combining with oxygen forming h2o that is water similarly metallic hydroxide magnesium hydroxide is combining with acid sulfuric acid h2so4 to form mgso4 plus water so that means base is reacting with an acid to form salt and water only now let us try and understand what are alkalis now those bases that means those oxides or hydroxides of metals which are soluble in water are known as alkalis so what is an alkali it is a base soluble in water or we can define an alkali as a basic hydroxide which when dissolved in water produces hydroxyl ion OH negative ions as the only negatively charged ion now please remember whenever we dissolve bases in water they produce hydroxide ion as you can see in case of sodium hydroxide NaOH it will reduce in its aqueous state aqueous state means if we add it to water it is going to uh, produce ions sodium ion and hydroxyl ion OH negative this is the reason why we call it as an alkali and moreover it is soluble in water so all alkalis all alkalis please remember are bases but all bases are not alkalis now to explain this it can be explained with the help of this Venn diagram please remember all the bases are not soluble in water only those bases which are soluble in water are known as alkalis as can be shown with the help of this Venn diagram so this part shows alkalis and the outer part shows bases and actually alkalis are also a part of the bases so alkalis are those bases which are soluble in water so let us do uh, examples of those bases which are soluble in water now please remember these are the only four 
water soluble bases sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide these are the only water soluble bases which are also known as alkalis apart from these the rest of the other bases are not known as alkalis that means rest of the other uh, oxides and hydroxides of metals are not alkalis they are not soluble in water but let us do two examples uh, of those bases which are not soluble in water ferric hydroxide is feoh whole thrice and copper hydroxide cuoh whole twice these are two examples of those bases which are not known as alkalis so i hope you all have understood what are bases and alkalis